and I are the same size for all intents and purposes. I'm 5'8", you're 5'7". We both have, my arms are two inches shorter than my height. My forearm is longer than my upper arm, the same as yours. What's your inseam? Mine's 29, 28. Uh, Pants. What? 31, 30. Yeah, I'm, I'm 31, 30. But my 30s are too long for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 20. Kind of, kind of too, yeah. yeah. So there's where I want your swing. And you're very close. Look out my club face. The left arm angle and the face angle, they're pretty close. Anyway, you're very close here. I got short arms. Your swing gets a little loose up there. See how far back you're going there, Matt? Well, look where my swing finishes. Watch. Doesn't get to parallel, does it? Then I have a little sit-down move. That's a power move. Then I'm going to explode into it, turn through it. But what you'll find with my golf swing is the shaft of the club, the established angle when I address the ball, when I go to the top and come down, I stay in that cone area. The club comes right down. But now the shaft is going to get close to where it started. There's impact. That shaft's almost back. So your right knee kind of shoots out toward the ball a little bit? Yeah. That's something we'll work on in the future, but not tonight. I want you to get the back swing tonight. But you see how my right knee doesn't go toward the ball as much as yours does? Yeah. Your right knee goes toward the ball. Too much there. That steepens the shaft. But first things first, get the club square at the top and get the shaft pointed more parallel and you'll hit good shots. You got better posture than me. You're about half my age. What are you, 30? Uh, 35. Oh, okay. You're 15 years younger. I got bad posture. It's from bending over teaching all day. I shouldn't have that much curvature in my spine there. All right, so you're on the right track.